thank you for stopping by. I'm Zen and as promised, I'm here with my second video. A lot of you have been asking me questions about the home renovation process. Um, first of all, we're going to talk about how do you select an ID that you work well with. Okay, that's the most important step. Second, we're going to talk about how do you develop your vision of your dream home. Super important as well. And hopefully you get to learn a lot from this and you have an amazing uh, renovation journey. So let's begin! Um, it is the most important part of the process because your ID is somebody that you have to work with for at least 5-6 to six months uh, depending on the size of your project. I strongly encourage you to meet at least 3 IDs or more. Uh, I got tired after the third one. The reason why you have to meet different IDs is because they all give you different perspectives and you can mishmash um, their ideas together with your final ID uh, to make a more beautiful home. For example, the idea to hack my bathroom actually came from another ID to extend the bathroom. Yeah. So um, yeah, you should meet at least 3 IDs and I actually selected my ID um, well, based on friends' recommendations as well as uh, going on a Canvas event. So the first thing I would um, ask you to consider is chemistry and likability. Do you like this person that you first met? Do you foresee that you will enjoy talking to them, negotiating with them, texting them almost every day throughout the six months? The second thing is really about picking someone who is a very good listener, uh, who is empathetic to your needs, who really understands and listens to you. And I was very clear, I didn't want a HDB that will like other HDBs. I wanted to be unique. Um, so good listener is very important, somebody who listens more than speak. The next one is really important for me. Um, I really wanted somebody who can provide 3D images of how the house might look like at the end of the day because um, this is what I can keep them accountable for. So if my house is supposed to look like this as represented in the 3D images, how the furniture, everything coordinates together, it gives me a better idea on how to decorate my house as well. I know if you work with certain contractors who are not IDs per se, they won't be able to provide you this service. Um, however, of course, you, you do pay a premium for this. Um, this was very important to me. My ID gave me a lot of 3D samples when I changed this and that, like the colour of the walls, you know, with a certain nippon paint or the colour of the floor. Um, and that took some time, but it really ensured that um, you, you stick closely to the vision that you wanted. And the last thing is really for somebody who believes in your vision. Uh, for me, um, my ID wanted to take part in a canvas contest with my uh, house. So he had, um, I think, uh, equal stakes in the house for it to turn out nicely. Now, point number two is really about developing a vision of a dream home. All of us have, um, you know, gone through a lot of uh, steps to get and purchase our dream home and it's very important step to really think about how you want it to look and feel like okay so the first step i think um for this for this developing your vision will be to really um get inspiration yeah so if you don't know where to start or what you like it's good to get inspiration and um, where do you get your inspiration from you can ask yourself where do you feel most comfortable uh, and cozy uh, and like a home okay uh, which places give you that feeling so for me it will be definitely the stores like Ikea okay uh, Huga uh, Kikite uh, and home yoga where I go for my yoga place I observe the colors that they use and the palettes that they um, use to create the kind of ambience that they have, um, how that makes me feel. Okay. Um, the second thing is Pinterest. Pinterest have really nice designs. I really like the Scandinavian vibe. Uh, everything in lighter tones. So I also went to Pinterest and shortlisted a few of the pictures that has a palette that I really like that makes me feel um, comfortable and like home and like relaxed. Okay. Um, and the next channel is probably YouTube. Um, I, I watch a few home tours to decide what colors will suit me. Um, after you think about the look and feel, uh, you can think about your mood board. Okay, that would be the second second thing I would ask you to do. Create a mood board. What is a mood board? Uh, a mood board actually has pictures of places uh, that inspires you and you want your house to have that look and feel. Uh, when you look at the picture, you feel really happy um, and zen. <laughs> 
<laughs> and so creating the mood board really helps you to articulate that to your ID uh, exactly what you want okay instead of just talking about it have pictures on it in your mood board I would suggest a few things um, have a base color that you want uh, and for me my house if you watch my previous video um, if you haven't please go watch it my base color is white um, white because I want to open up the space I want it to be, look light and airy okay and big um, the second thing is primary colors what kind of primary colors would you mix with the white for me my primary color was a little bit of a blush pink as long uh, as well as with a gray okay so those are my two primary colors and then there were some accent colors along the way that you notice if um, you look at the video there is light wood um, there is also a little bit of marble and gold okay so I would say that you can you can play around with the bay uh, accent colors okay just make sure that you don't have more than five to six colors in your entire home that really creates the cohesiveness that one Those five points really help you in your journey to visioning your dream home. Uh, not an easy journey, so keep it going. If you come across any challenges along the way, you need somebody to talk to or give recommendations, don't forget to comment down below um, and also click subscribe. Um, if you have any ideas on what you would like to see in our next video, let me know and um, give me a thumbs up.